Welcome to Take 5 with the Regional Chamber. I'm Kim Calvert. The Chamber will honor several business and labor leaders tomorrow morning at its annual Salute to Business Breakfast. In our last Take 5, we highlighted two of our five award recipients. Today, we introduce you to the rest of the honorees. Valerick Star's Joel Mastrovich will be presented with the Business Professional of the Year Award. Mastrovich was recently named the Executive Vice President and Industrial Director of Valerick's OCTG North America Division. Mastrovich says Valerick and the oil and gas industry here in Youngstown are only in the infancy stage, but he's very optimistic about what the future holds. I see good things. Uh, for Valerick Star, I see us as the clear North American leader in uh, continuing growth market for oil and gas also for the valley here. Um, I see that the facilities here in Youngstown are performing at capacity and living up to the high expectations that they're held to. And lastly, I see the company as being uh, well run by the next generation of our leaders. Our next award recipient is Stephanie Shaw, Executive Director of the Eastern Ohio P-16 Partnership for Education, who will receive the Nonprofit Professional of the Year Award. One of our greatest accomplishments is keeping that conversation going about what it takes to be ready for post-secondary education, whether that's college, technical school, some type of certificate, but that conversation continues. Um, part of what happened is the conversation also often starts too late. It starts in high school. We were able to establish a consortium of middle school principals, counselors, and teachers to talk about what's needed to start that conversation a little earlier. Um, that consortium came up with the concept of having ACT explore the eighth grade version of ACT uh, inside the classroom for our eighth grade students. Our final award, Salute to Labor Achievement, will be presented to Don Crane, President of the Western Reserve Building and Construction Trades Council. I think over the last 10 years the building trades has become uh, kind of a uh, a cool labor organization so to speak. I think that we're very much accepted in the community as uh, people to give back and that at the same time produce uh, quality journeymen into the community that uh, give back. Um, whether it's just a matter of uh, buying here and living here or it could be as, as giving back as in wheelchair ramps and in the work we the volunteer work we do at churches and food banks and, and the money that we put back into the community for charitable organizations. Congressman Tim Ryan will congratulate our recipients in person as he will be keynoting tomorrow's event. We hope you made your reservation and we'll see you there. As we talk about some of our accomplished leaders, we thought today we would also focus on one of our Valley's leading companies. Infocision is one of the top direct marketing companies in the country, boasting some of the nation's premier businesses and organizations as clients. The company's leaders credit their team and ability to change with the times for their continued success. Infocision has 1,100 employees in the Valley, including 550 right here at the Austintown location. Steve Brubaker, the company's chief of staff, says while many of the company's competitors search the globe for the cheapest labor, they found staying close to home is a better strategy. We found that people right here at home in the Midwest have a better way of communicating, can produce better results for our clients, and that return on investment matters. And I think that we have that connection with people. Because when we communicate, we're speaking in their language, in their culture, and I think it makes a difference. The call center industry has changed quite a bit over the years. Infocision is now seeing a boom in their inbound calling business, and they're handling not only sales and service, but customer care as well. They've also moved beyond call center services to meet their clients' needs in other ways. We provide fulfillment services, direct mail, and online interactive services. You know, we provide website interaction, text chat. We have a process we call R3, Rapid Response Routing, where an individual's on a website, they ask for assistance, and we're able to respond immediately at the point where they have an interest. Infocision relies heavily on its employees, so in turn, the employees are treated well. The company offers a fitness center on site, as well as a doctor's office, and a cafeteria called Cafe 5, offering five choices of entrees for five dollars in five minutes or less. Our benefits and amenities make a difference for people. We try to create an environment where we can have work-life balance. 
And that balance seems to be working for the company as Infocision has grown into the second largest privately held teleservice company in the world. The growth continues despite the loss of one of the founders. Gary Taylor passed away earlier this year. We all loved Gary so much and he really was the visionary for the company. He was a mentor to me personally and many of us. But the company marches on. Gary's wife and co-founder Karen continues as chair of the board and his son Craig has stepped in to take over the role of CEO. Finally, don't forget that our Young 2013 Conference and Trade Show is just days away with activities taking place from September 11th through the 13th. Be sure to visit the calendar of events at regionalchamber.com to register for the Industry Insider Reception, Conference and Expo, After Hours Gathering, and Digging Deeper Breakout Sessions. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of Take 5 and we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. With the Regional Chamber, I'm Kim Calvert. Take 5 with the Regional Chamber is produced by Mahoning Valley Productions, where we tell your stories.